Yeah. I've got line of sight here. Two. Just got one of them. Two more. That way. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Redcon 2, Rift Airsoft's brand new site. Now this first episode out of the next two or three will be a little bit mellow while we explore the map. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and remember to smash that subscribe button, and leave the video a little like, and comment a viewer there as well. I'd like to see what you guys oh, thought of the site, particularly as Tony's after some feedback as well. Obviously opening a new site, he wants to know how it went. Anyway, on to today's game. So for us, for the most part, it's search and rescue. We have to find some boxes and take it back to this helicopter that Noctis has just found. The broken down links. We also have some bombs, if I remember correctly, that we must keep turned on by the end of the game. And as Noctis has just found, in about 3, 2, there it is, there's the bomb. We have to keep that turned on for the duration of the game and stop the enemy from disabling it. Come on, Sword. Cooperate with me. Hey. Okay. Right. Honey, I'm home. Honey, I'm home. Right, okay. We need to try and get people up more towards that way, see what the next objective is. Now usually by this point I will start orientating you guys so you guys know whereabouts in the field where we are. Unfortunately, we have no idea where we are either. All I know is I'm walking towards the enemy to the front lines. Meanwhile Noctis is actually really really far behind friendly lines. So uh, let's see how long it takes for him to realise before there's no action. I've got line of sight if you give it to me. Guys, be careful, they're in a ditch in front of you! Careful? Us three will guard the chopper. So if you want the gunner position on the front, I'll be right at the back, ready as final support. Nick. Nick, you in play? Right. That's friendly. That's friendly. I'm fairly sure. So it's very hard to see in the camera, be the enemy, or right in front of me, in that tree line. And they're currently curving to the left and to the right. That shot I just took was actually at someone. I remember getting one person in the last 10 minutes. That might have been them. I'm not sure. Is there any objectives over there? Yeah, we've got one in here already. <laughs> My sword is just sat here, just stowed in the camo net. Just perfect. Dude, stay put. Stay, stay, there we go. There. Literally, do you know, you see this path and the trees are literally right in front of me? Yeah. Those trees. They're in those trees. Literally, yeah. to right, at least by 12 o'clock. Okay, uh, so yeah, I think they already have engaged. Right, I'm going to start moving. Right, where are we looking? Side. So guys, you need to uh, try and move forward a bit. Contact right side. 
It turns out, despite the fact that they were very far behind the friendly lines, the enemy managed to get through on our right side. This place is 60 acres large, so getting around and flanking isn't actually much of a hardship. Noctis decides to get ready. Who is that I can hear climbing on the back of it? What are you doing? So while I'm playing around with this bush, unknowing to me, to my right side, about 100 meters away, is actually where one of our objectives are. I was actually rather happy with myself for that one. I've got a line of sight here. Just got one of them. Two more. That way. I think that's our way. So there's all what I got the fan in, didn't they? Hey? They're fanning out. They are and they're doing a good job of it. That's well close. Hey. Right. Got shot my middle finger. Oh, I really to be ages away. <laughs> I haven't spotted anyone, but I'm fairly sure there are people inbound. Got it. Wait, that's a footstep, so you can climb up this shit. <laughs> Right, small skinny dude. Climb in there. Small and skinny. <laughs> yeah, that means. <laughs> you two dead? You're kidding. Oh boy. How are you doing in there? <laughs> Let me just get my camera in. Jesus Christ. He's chilling in there, it's great. <laughs> yeah, I got that feeling about five minutes ago. So as you can probably hear, or not hear, the field is actually really quiet. That's because everyone's trying to figure out where everyone else is. This map is absolutely amazing, but it takes quite a while to uh, find your target. I'd love to see what it's like in winter though, where all the shrubbery dies off. This would be just a big plainlands. Well, a lot of blues are getting killed, so I think we're pretty safe to move. Is that our dude up there? He's a dead man walking, I think. Yeah. No, I've got no visual. Must be a dead man walking. I don't know a guy who killed the I saw him walk and then he ducked. Well, can you see them? There's a couple of them. Yeah, I think I know where you're at. Yeah, a couple of them are just sitting down. I don't think I can hit with all the shrubbery in the way. No, it's too much in there. I got no visual. Oh, hello. Hello, sunshine. Oh, the reds. Oh, the reds. Yeah, the reds. They've just been killed, though. She's going to hit on the left. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
Guys on the left! Don't just be somebody getting some side straight with this wind. Guys on the left, seriously, right now. Red on the left. Ah! Ready! So after a month of being away because my computer broke and uh, I was just taking a small break, I'm now back to it. So this is just a video I put together. This is the first part of the first half of the day. It's just a quick little video um, I put together. Uh, when I get back into the swing of things, the quality should improve. Um, as a side note as well, we'll also be buying more cameras. So obviously you can tell Nox's camera is not as good as quality compared to mine. It's because mine is 4K ready and his is not. Soon though, we're going to have two sets of cameras. And as uh, Scrum Airsoft grows, we'll also be getting up to five sets of cameras for the entire team. So hopefully we'll have lots of content coming to you guys. Unfortunately though, because my old computer had all my uh, old content, there is a lot of missing footage. So I'm going to try my best to get as many videos out as possible. Because my next game day, again, is going to be in Inverness Tazball, which is a free-for-all event. So I can't wait to play that, and I can't wait to show you guys what we had to deal with up there. Anyway, guys, that's the first part of the Redcon battle. Next week, there'll be a little bit more action, and the week after, we'll come to the conclusion of the first half of the day. As always, guys, if you're liking my content, please leave some love and a sub, and I'll see you all next time.